processo que eu tô passando. I went on a blind date yes. and I met my husband. When I saw those kind eyes, I was I literally fall in love like right away. I was like, what? Yeah. I think he's a great teacher. I'm so grateful that he's uh, he's my partner because we grow we've grown a lot in this last 12 years together. I've been through a lot. And it's just great to be with someone who's like willing to talk, to work on it himself. We're so passionate about football. I think you said, I've never met anyone in my whole life who loves anything as much as my husband loves playing football. Yes. You said you truly think it was his, his first love. Yes. I, I don't think I think, I, I'm pretty sure. Where do you and fit in in there? I don't care, I'm not in competition. <laughs> He says, I want to play five more years of football. Talk of retirement and all. He says, no. What seasons do you think you're going to be playing professional football? Oh, God. Are you my wife? Oh, what do you say? Are you I, okay with that? You know, I feel like, you know, it's not up to me to make any decisions for anybody. He feels he wants to play for three or five or ten more years. He chooses because that's not, you know, that's his life. And I, I just want to support him. I think for six, seven months out of the year when he's really focused, it's definitely like I really take on 100%. You know, I take the kids to school, you know, so that I become a lot more present. Giselle spoke up about feeling like there wasn't an even balance in their family duties. The 42-year-old devoted himself to football while she took care of the house. And in the off season, Giselle wanted him to step up a little more at home, but Tom focused on other business ventures instead. And he recalled Giselle giving him a much needed wake up call Tom recalled a letter Giselle wrote to him that he still keeps in a drawer to this day, sharing, quote, It's a very heartfelt letter for her to say, this is where I'm at in our marriage, and it's a good reminder for me that things are going to change and evolve over time. Surprising return to football after a short-lived retirement. Myself out there, I f so why should I stop? Does everyone want me to retire so bad? I don't need exterior motivations. The ones that I have inside of me are enough. Obviously, I have my concerns. This is a very violent sport, and I have my children, and I would like him to be more present. How are you? Well, when you say... Sorry, guys. He's the father of my kids, you know, so I always wish him the best. Revealing that during that time, she was caring for her parents, whose health was declining. You didn't think that the marriage would end. No one goes into no. a marriage thinking yeah. it's going to end, but it does. You said it was the death of a dream. Yeah. para cuidar da saúde mental depois de perder a mãe em janeiro deste ano e de uma separação pública e conturbada de Tom Brady, com quem foi casada por 13 anos. Eu acho que nos momentos difíceis é quando a gente mais aprende, né? Que eu tô nesse momento, eu tive tantas transformações que aconteceram uhum. na minha vida nesses últimos dois anos, na minha família, em tantos níveis. Para quem sou eu uhum. fora disso que eu achava que eu era, entendeu? Esse momento que você tá vivendo. Desculpa. Imagina. Há só dois meses, eu acho que com o tempo vai ficar mais fácil de falar sem chorar da minha mãe. 